Hey there guys and welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Today for me is going to be the Liverpool and Chelsea Super Cup match and I cannot wait. So why not do a little Premier League prediction on Tier Maker? As you see it's not the whole like the whole list, but it's basically pretty much, you know, a, a bit of a um you know a, a little guess, you know, a little prediction. So it's not entirely going to be right, it's just you know predictions certain like sections of uh, the Premier League or the Premier League table. And uh, um, well, before when you go on this, this was actually just a uh, winner, straight a winner. Um, I cannot pick a winner out of you know my team and Man City. I think it's just going to be a close one again this next season with the top two. Um, the, I don't, in my opinion, there's no difference between you know starting and ending seasons. Sometimes like there's no like players won't always you know drop form or end form and then start a new form. I think the form of both teams. Even through the little competitions they've been in, like the Champions League, obviously Liverpool won it. With Man City, they just won the Community Shield. They won the Premier League itself. You know they've done. They've had a phenomenal season. Both teams have, and I can't. I just can't pick out a straight out winner out of these two teams. Although, in my opinion, I'm leaning like it's like 55% Man City, 45% my own team, Liverpool. I don't want to be too biased. Although it's kind of been biased, you know, saying my team's going to finish second again. But we've been. We've, both teams have been phenomenal. And in front of me right now, you guys won't see this, but I've just got the table in front of me. Um, so I'm just kind of like, you know, trying to base it off of the last season's table, but also a few of the um, transfers that I've actually seen. And the Champions League spot, I think it's going to be, and based, and this is also based on the first game week as well. Like, I've done this a bit too late. Uh, after the first game week, we've just bounced off of Liverpool winning their first game, Arsenal, Man City and Man U all win their first games. One of the Man U games being against Chelsea, which was a big game to start off with. They won 4-0. So I think they're going to be dropping into the Europa League again, like the Europa League slots, along with Tottenham, who I think are going to finish probably 5th with Chelsea 6th. So it's going to be Man, U, Man, U, Man City and Liverpool in the top two. Then I think it's going to be between Arsenal and you know, Ch well, Arsenal and Man U in the Champions League slots in 3rd and 4th. Then obviously 5th and 6th is going to be Chelsea and Tottenham. Moving on to 7th place right now. I think, well, top 10, I think Everton's definitely going to be up there. If not, if Everton are in this part, they're going to be a little bit higher up. Like, they could get a Europa League spot. But I think it's going to be a top 10. Like, I can't change any of these anymore. These should just lock. Like, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then top 10 is obviously, you know, 7 to 10, which is going to be four teams in here. Now, the last last um, season, Everton came 8th with Wolves in 7th. So I think Wolves are going to be up there again. Um, however, what's this green bar mean? Uh, they've got Europa League qualifiers, so they've got qualifiers for the Europa League, which means they might have some extra games if they make it in, which may make them stumble, but I think they're going to be a top 10 team, along with probably last season again, which is going to be Leicester, um, who finished in 9th, and obviously West Ham in 10th. I think they're going to be no different. Like West Ham, I think they've lo I think, um, lost a few players, though, unfortunately. Actually, you know what? Yeah, West Ham have lost a few players. Um, so I think they're going to be, uh, you know, in the top 15 at least, a bit lower down. Because I actually want to move in Bournemouth into the top 10 right here. Now, Bournemouth finished 14th last time, last season. But I think they're going to be that weird bogey team that's going to just climb a little bit. Um, mainly based off of some other people's um, teams losing their players. For one, Crystal Palace finished 12th. They're probably going to finish, like, top 15 again. But maybe a bit lower down this time. Maybe, like, 15th or 14th. Maybe even escaping relegation. You know, actually, hmm... They've just see they've just lost like Wan Bissaka, who was their best defender. Um, I think was it back to Schweiz that's gone from back on back to Chelsea from loan. So I think they've lost a striker and a defender, which I think actually yeah I'm gonna put them in escape and relegation you know. And before I do anything, I'm just gonna put a straight Sheffield United in relegated. Um, I don't think they're gonna perform as good as they did last well as the Championship. I don't think they can really compete. Um, did they actually win their last game? Did they win their first game of the season? Let me go have a look. I'm going to get the um, you know the Premier League scores up real quickly. And just look at the last remaining six teams that we've got here. Well, seven teams? Seven teams. Um, Norwich. I think they're going to finish top 15. Along with Newcastle. I think Newcastle's solid. Um, I think Brighton's going to get... Is that Brighton? Yeah, I think Brighton's going to be the one that's going to fall as well. Where did Brighton finish last season? So Brighton actually just finished 17th. Just escaping relegation from Cardiff, Fulham and Huddersfield. Yeah, Fulham didn't. Wow, Huddersfield didn't exactly have a good season, did they? Three wins in 38 games. Fulham had seven. Cardiff had ten. Brighton and Southampton both had nine. I think Southampton's going to be the one that's going to escape the relegation instead of Brighton this time round. Well, Southampton came 16th and Brighton came 17th, but I think Southampton's going to probably come about 17th, 16th again. So, you know, Southampton's pretty consistent. 
Um, I'm actually going to put Burnley in there as well with the escape and relegation, which means I'm going to choose between Watford and Aston Villa to go into these slots. I think it's going to be Aston Villa again. Not again, but I think they're going to get relegated, and I think Watford's going to finish top 15. Now, they came, they actually, uh, Watford actually came 11th last time um, in the season, so they just finished below top 10, so I think that's a pretty... Good prediction for them. Now, can I just get the scores up real quickly? And we're going to recap and, you know, maybe make some changes. But this is basically just, you know, a bit, this is based off of the first game week as well. So if I got a table right now and go to scores, matches. See, Burnley are in fifth at the moment. But I think they may drop. That doesn't mean anything like, yeah. So it was Leicester and Wolves. They both drew. And I've both got them in top 10. Newcastle lost to Arsenal. I've got Newcastle down in top 15th, Arsenal Champions League spot. Manu up there and Chelsea in the Europa League. Manu won 4 0. Sheffield United and Bournemouth both drew 1 1. Well, with each other 1 1. Um, however, I've put Bournemouth to go to the top 10 because I think they're going to bounce back. I don't think Sheffield United's going to really perform you know, too well in this. Now, there's a shocker one. Brighton, Brighton actually beat Watford 3 0. I think that's a one off. I think they're going to fall a little bit, you know, though. I think they're going to just, like, fall to such teams. Obviously, the, the main top six teams, Everton could beat them. I reckon Wolves will probably beat them. Norwich will probably beat them. I wouldn't even be surprised if Sheffield United went on and beat them as well to, you know, just put them further down. Now, Everton and Crystal Palace. Now, you, you may have seen their game. It was 0-0 with Everton on a red card. Now, Crystal Palace couldn't take, you know, take benefit of a 10-men Everton team and get a goal. But they did see off a draw in the end. But Crystal Palace... They've just got no one on the team. Let's have a look at the lineups for Crystal Palace real quickly. Let's see, they've got Benteke and Ayu, but they're both um, subbed off as well in that game. So they've got Martin Kelly, they've got Van Anholt, Townsend. Some decent players, but I just don't think they'll be able to compete in the Prem. You've got players like Townsend who are probably better than the team he's at right now with them. And then you just look at Everton. They've got a good team. They've got Richarlison, you know, Sigurdsson, Calvert-Lewin, Bernard, Lucas Dine. Yeri Mina, you know, Jordan Pickford, Seamus Coleman, and Andre Gomez, like, and is that Michael King, I think, that, that'll be in the end of the whole 11, they're all people you know, if you've heard their name, and you're like, yep, I know that player, you know every single one of their players, I think they're going to compete for a Europa League spot if they're not lucky, you know, if they're not unlucky anyway, but yeah, let's see, what are the scores right here, so there was West Ham lost 5-0 to Man City, I don't think they're going to get brushed off badly by that, just by 5-0, I think they're going to still finish top 15 at least, and obviously Liverpool beat Norwich. Now we've got Liverpool to finish top two. Four winning their first game is really good. Both the top two teams have literally scored, f you know, four goals. They've scored nine goals between them. And obviously we've conceded the one. Man U have scored four as well, which is good for them, I guess. Which the table stands right now is obviously Man City, Man U, and Liverpool, and Brighton. Brighton in fourth, who I've got to get, you know, be, to be relegated. A w first win, you know, win of the game week, first game week, isn't always something you can base it on. However, if they've got the reputation of like a top six team like Liverpool, Man U, Man City, I think they're going to finish up there. Tottenham sitting in sixth, they won as well with lastly in seventh. I don't think Tottenham's really going to, you know, do well this season. They haven't, they haven't really done much again in the transfer window. I can't even remember if they've bought anyone, but looking at the goal scorers so far, let's have a look at the stats real quickly. So Raheem Sterling with three goals, Ashley Barnes on two from Burnley, which is mad to see. Harry Kane on two, Marcus Rashford on two. Then you got Origi on one, you know, Bamiyang on one, Van Dijk on one as well. Uh, Goodmanson, you know, all these top players with one goal. Even Daniel James from Manu, which I did, um, haven't seen his goal yet, but I've seen a little article about it. Um, scoring on his debut, which is big for him. It's always big for a, a uh, an unknown player to get a goal in the debut. I like seeing that, despite him playing for Manu. But yeah, that is my little prediction. Hope you guys enjoy. If there's anything you want to include in the comment section down below of your little prediction, do you agree with this? Do you not? Do you disagree? Uh, yeah, go put that in the uh, comment section. I think um, if there's anybody I want to nominate to do this, I'm going to nominate you, Alex, if you're watching this. Renegade Prov. You're a big football fan. You've probably got Arsenal you know, up there as well. He's an Arsenal fan. I want to see what you've predicted. Um, the, the day this video goes up, actually, I would have probably mentioned it to you because I'm probably going to play football with you on this day before the... Um, what's it called now? The Super Cup. You know, Chelsea are going to get partic participation medal. You know, they're going to get runners-up in that and Liverpool are going to get their first trophy of the season along with uh, Man City, you know. First award of the season. We'll call the Community Shield a trophy. It's a shield, not a trophy. But it's silverware. We're going to get it today. Come on, lads. We've got this. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or your night depending on when you're watching this. But yeah, peace out and I'm out. I'll see you guys later.